I find this quite funny sometimes googling questions and seeing what the top kind of 10 most asked questions are on Google. Um, so I thought I'd do one on coffee, like, is coffee? Um, and there's some funny ones on there. So, is coffee good for you? Generally, yeah, I mean, it's not that bad for you, you know, if you drink black coffee. Um, there's a little, if you go onto it and ask Google the question, is coffee good for you? Um, there's a report here on uh, time.com. It says, people who drink coffee, 17% less likely to die early during the study period, 19% uh, less likely to die from heart disease, 18% less likely to develop, to develop cancer. Um, it can also help with liver cirrhosis, type 2 diabetes, and even, even neurological conditions. I don't think there's any kind of solid evidence to say that coffee will help with these diseases and such. Um, but generally, yeah, coffee's not bad for you. And then moving on, is coffee bad for you? No, but it can be. Coffee only starts to get bad for you when you put this, and maybe some of this, in there. Um, especially when you have like the largest sizes, you know, Starbucks sizes of a latte can be ginormous, and you're basically drinking a pint of milk with a little bit of coffee in it. That's when coffee becomes bad for you. And then if you add like, I don't know, I've seen people with like massive coffees with whipped cream and marshmallows and crap on top of it. Which is fine if you enjoy that, that's your thing, that's cool. Um, but that's bad for you. The coffee itself is not. Um, and then following, is coffee fattening? Coffee itself is not fattening, no. If you have coffee beans and water, there is no fat in coffee, that you have just coffee. It's when you add all the other crap that goes with it, all the sugar and the milk and the fattening products, uh, that's when coffee becomes fattening and bad for you. Um, is coffee acidic? Uh, yeah, kind of. The, you get acidic tastes in coffee and there are um, natural acids found within coffee. Um, some coffees more than others, but generally coffee is not an acidic product. Um, is coffee a diuretic? And is coffee a laxative? <laughs> I'm gonna have to look what the answers are for this. Um, it's tempting to attribute the effect of caffeine since the ingredients you're going after when you slurp down a cup of coffee. Um, but think about it, soda doesn't have the same effect and studies have found that decaf coffee, which, which some people drink for the reason, I guess, can have a laxative effect too. Um, here's why coffee makes you poop, the Washington Post. This will be interesting. Du -du 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 -du. Oh, come on, I hate websites when it's just filled with bloody adverts these days. Come on! Uh, so yeah, about 30% of humans feel the need to defecate after drinking their morning joe. I'm kind of with you on that. Sometimes I'll just smell a cup of coffee and be like, oh, yep, it's that time. Do, 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 do. There's an advert here. You can earn $13,000 a year selling your poop. It's a good side business. Hey, side business, doing your business. Uh, so uh, there's nothing really solid. <laughs> it's another poop pun. Um, there's nothing solid to say that coffee is what makes you poop, but chlorogenic acid maybe. Um, but I mean, according to Washington Post, I'm not going to say I know exactly anything about this. Um, but uh, chlorogenic acids can quite possibly attribute to this, but according to the Washington Post, it isn't saying there's any solid evidence to say, but I know what you mean. Coffee makes me poop too. And then uh, what else have we got? Um, is coffee vegan? Yes. 
Um, coffee is vegan. Coffee beans come from a plant. Um, if it's Arabica or Robusta, um, they are both vegan. They are plants. Um, the coffee is the seed of a plant. And generally there are no animals involved unless you have some awful Kopi Liro. Uh, I'm not going to get started on that. Just don't buy that stuff because it's terrible as a coffee and for the um, animals involved. Um, yeah, coffee only doesn't become vegan when you add animal products to it. Um, is coffee gluten free? Again, it comes from a plant. Um, is coffee bad for your skin? I don't think so. As far as I'm aware, um, coffee is actually quite good for your skin. I know a lot of people make like coffee scrubs and stuff. I made coffee scrubs last year, a little experiment, used um, some ground coffee and coconut oil and scrubbed it on my face and it was quite nice. Did a good job. Um, is coffee a drug? No. Caffeine uh, can have some addictive qualities, but it's not a drug necessarily. Um, so that's it, I find it quite funny doing stuff like that. <laughs> Um, that's it for today, a little video, um, it's a beautiful sunny day in Edinburgh and I've just been stuck in the lab for the last couple of days catching up on bits of work and, and projects and stuff, but it's been really good, everything's really busy, loads of projects coming in which is awesome, um, wicked, I'll see you again on Friday, peace.